the first steps that I were involved in at Ambler were the remedial design for both sites, uh, which were you know, the, the responsible parties, the current owners, uh, hired con consultants to design uh, how they were going to implement the remedy that we had already chosen. And I didn't mention it before, but the remedies were selected before I came on board. And the remedies were cap the site uh, primarily with soil uh, and also install a, an erosion control device. Both sites, both parcels, have streams running by them that are adjacent to the piles. And streams, of course, will cut into uh, anything given enough time. So we wanted to uh, armor the sides that were in contact with the streams. So the remedies selected for these sites, for the, uh, for the pipe plant pile, also known as certain tea pile, the remedy was cap the site with soil and vegetation to hold the soil in place. And also where it uh, abutted the Stewart Farm Creek, a small creek, uh, often dry, but during storms it, it had pretty good flow. Uh, erect a, a, a gabion barrier. Gabions are basically boxes of rocks. Mm -hmm. uh, very standard erosion control device. On the other side, on the Locust Street pile, uh, it abutted into the Wissahickon, which is a much more uh, substantial stream. And uh, what was selected there was a, it's called a revetment, it's a French term. It basically means a concrete blanket. Uh, it's a structured concrete blanket laid up against the side of the hill for the entire length that it, uh, that it touches the, the Wissahickon. And it's uh, eight inches thick, it's uh, steel cable reinforced, and it's poured on site into a honeycomb of plastic. 